Yes. Um, you had mentioned, you know, I had mentioned that the Son of Man as a precursor to anybody who would think that uh, it's possible for Mashiach to be a uh, Son of God, uh, you know, like the way the Christians believe. I believe in last week's parsha, we, we, we are told that Hashem did not come as a tamuna, as a, as, a, as a form, but in that same passage it says, watch your souls very much. Is it possible that the connection between those two parts is Hashem warning us about a religion, Christianity, and warning us that if you want to watch your Hashem, make sure you don't subscribe to that YouTube channel because it's, it's false, it's going to damage your neshama because I, if I wanted to come as a Tamuna, I would have done it in Harsina. The fact that I didn't come as a Tamuna, don't buy into that. And the surrounding Pesukim talk about Abu Dazar. Is that like a Nevoa or a possible warning to us that there are future religions that are going to try to sell that and you should watch it because otherwise you're going to damage your soul? Hushmar tamo'oid minav shesechem kiloid isem kol Tamuna that you remember that you saw no image on the day that you stood at Chorev at Mount Sinai. How crazy it is that the church would one day, a long time ago, build a church on Mount Sinai. Now, it's crazy. Now, I'm not sure that really is Mount Sinai. They called that, and a lot of people think it is. Well, how crazy that is. An Orthodox church built where they believe is Mount Sinai, and I've been there many times. I didn't go to Daven Mincha, I just happened to be <laughs> What are you doing to these churches here? I don't know. If you, you, if you want to drive from Eretz Yisrael to the African continent, you literally can, because the Suez Canal has literally a Lincoln Tunnel that goes under it. And yeah, yeah so you can take a taxi at Taba and just wind up in Africa. And I've done that quite a number of times. And that road that goes in that direction goes right past what many people believe is the Jews don't care about if it is, it's not, it's not important anymore. Tires with us. But it's crazy because it's an Orthodox church, which means that it's filled with tumunas, it's filled with icons, idolatry, halfway the Zerah, the very place that they think that Moshe Rabbeinu warned us, they think whether it is or not, is a, you know, when a Chazal tells us that a person would not sin, Ella im kein nichnas shtus, only if a madness would enter you, I'm, I used to wonder what did they mean, because I thought, well, you know, there are a lot of sins, I understand the Yetzirah. It really is craziness, wildkeit, that they should build a church, and the most ekeldic a church, it's not like a church where you don't have Getchkas, you don't have statues. It's one with so many images right there where they think that Moshe Rabbeinu conveyed these, that the nation heard that you should not have any images. It's mamish craziness, it's wildness. It's, it's, um, so the Torah is warning us, solving a philosophical question. People ask the question, if God wanted to, couldn't he come as a man? He wanted to come and dwell among us, he couldn't do it? The real answer is, but I do know one thing. My tire says there that God is not a man that he'll lie. He's not immortal that he'll change his mind. Read Sefer Bad Midbar, go to Perchav Gimel, and go to Pasuk Yotes. It says it openly. I'm not going to engage in some kind of So the tire is always warning this, always. And Christianity is the mother lord of all this, because Christianity will, is the chazir. It, unlike other trefa animals, the chazir displays its Mafresas pars as split hooves. And I really never, I don't know growing up if I ever saw pigs going around. But in Indonesia, I did. Mamish saw pigs. And it's like they're wearing high heels. I mean, really, you know, if you see a, a, a cow, whatever, an uh, ox, so you gotta like look and you, you gotta lift up to see that it's split hooves. It's not immediately obvious. You have to like look what's going on. You have to take a very close look. But with the pig, right away, it's, look at me. You know, Kosh Baruch Hu made that a pig is genetically so close to a human that actually its organs could be used in transplant. And ophthalmologists, eye surgeons, practice on a pig's eye because it's so close. And the pig's eye and human eye are so... Staggered. But Kosh Baruch Hu made the pig in this way displays, look at me, I'm Jewish, but Kosh Baruch made every species of pig, that a pig cannot look at the sky. No pig can look it up. A horse, not a problem. 
a donkey, not a problem. HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the anatomy of every pig, and they're different kinds. And no pig ever saw the sky. Don't look at me. Look down. HaKadosh Baruch Hu made their, their neck in such a way that it can't go up. Only down. Ich bin nidrik. I'm the worst that you could become. Don't be fooled. I can't see the sky. I only can look at my fake split hose. It's really murdered. And the Torah tells us that it, it is the only animal that would have split hose and not chew its cud. I lived in Indonesia for five years to the day. I traveled in Malaysia teaching. I've seen some very strange places and parts of the world where you would find encounter creatures you would never see anywhere else. I didn't even know what I was looking at sometimes. Never found, no one ever found an animal that has split hooves and doesn't chew its cud. So, so that's where it all comes from. Adon Olach Asher Malach V'terem Kol Yetzir Nivra Let Nasa B'chev Tzokol Azai Melech Azai Melech Shemu Nikra ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו ימלוך נורא